Welcome over to YouTube, it's your boy Sherry Speaks, and I want to talk to you guys about The Flash, Season 3, Episode 10, Borrowing Violence from the Future. And, you know, the episode, you know, comes off pretty damn well. You know, we see, like in the preview, we see uh, Barry, you know, just having nightmares, you know, remembering, recalling that event where Iris was killed. You know, and that just, that's just tormenting him completely, you know, and eventually, you know, as we all know, he comes clean with Iris and tells him that I saw Savitar kill you, you know, at this day and time. You know, and this is all during in which their team flash was going to go to the Star Museum uh, showcasing that HR set up. Remember, if you recall, HR said he thought about turning Star Labs into a museum of some sorts, you know, and that actually wouldn't have happened. Everything went pretty swell. At the meantime, as well, we see Plunder make his first debut and Kid Flash. You know, at first, you know, they stop him, you know, and Barry, of course, as we saw in the sneak peek as well. He gets pissed off at Wally. He tells him, you know, if you, you know, if you can't work as a team, you can't listen to what I say. This whole thing we got going on ain't gonna work. So, to which everyone is like, yo, man, why are you yelling at him? Like, he just did, like, he saved your life. You know, because if you remember as well, while Barry took down Plunder, you know, he hesitated capturing him because he recalled when Savitar killed Iris. And he thought Wally catching him would seal her fate and put it in cement. And to which I will say, it was actually pretty cool seeing Wally actually get a burst of his little fame, you know, because the guy, the helicopter carrier guy, he said, hey man, I got this on video, bro, you want to say something to Central City? And Wally's like, oh, snap, for real? Like, hey, what is Central City? This is a kid flash. You know, that, that whole thing was really cool. I liked seeing that right there. But, you know, you can tell it's a little distasteful for Barry because that's not how he was. That's not how he is. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't brag about his power. You know, he doesn't do, he's not really show, showman-like, you know, so... That was against his rules, obviously, which made him get pissed off at Wally. Another thing I really liked was uh, when Caitlyn uh, went searching for Julian because she said, like she said, she hasn't heard from him since Christmas, like that. You know, she goes to seek him out because she's trying to get rid of her killer frost powers. And so, and as we all see at towards the end of the episode, we see her um, be given an amulet by uh, both Cisco and Julian to wear around her neck, so then it can, I guess, decrease. Um, the frigid temperatures and increase the heat so then her powers won't activate or some sort like that. I'll look more into it. Um, we also saw, you know, Wally finally giving to his fame, you know, and Barry says, you know what, Wally, uh, Wally Iris needs a hero, and this is you. So he, that's why he wanted Wally to stop Plunder because he felt like this is your, this is your call. And with this, that's one event that we can stop all of them. You know, I really look forward to um, the next episode because we looked uh, towards the end. We looked like we saw like a doppelganger of Iris, or maybe I'm confusing that whatever she looked like between Leonard Snart's sister or Iris. I don't know, but I look forward to it in the next week's episode. This is Boy Chase Speaks. Would you guys like this video? Subscribe to the channel, comment, and all that other jazz. <sighs> I love you guys. By the way, there's no wrong with my throat or anything. It's just I'm being quiet because I don't want to.